Time-lapse video of the sun setting over Tehama County earlier this evening. Meteorologist Patrick Wright is tracking conditions out there. Patrick, it is pretty cool. And, you know, we're seeing some issues out there on the roadway, but weather really couldn't be playing a role in any of that, right? No, weather shouldn't be a problem when it comes to at least a clear sky. We don't have any frost out there. Some of the winds will help limit that tonight. Looking outside right now, you can still see that clear sky. This is the view from the Red Mountain Glen camera. Stars are shining tonight. It is going to be a relatively calm night for parts of our region. Still some breezes not out of the question coming out of the north in the valley. So we will see those breezes continuing in the valley and in the foothills. Strongest in the foothills, but chilly mornings and mild afternoons are on the way to wrap up the work week with a chance for a weekend rain. Now, we don't have to worry about any rain the next 24 to 48 hours. We will see some high clouds rolling through tomorrow afternoon. This will just add a nice texture to our sky and make for an amazing sunset tomorrow night. That's all, it, that's all it's going to do. No rain, nothing to be concerned about. It is going to flow through our region tomorrow as a system dips down off of our coast. We will see winds dying down tonight. Gusts up to about 20 miles per hour along the I-5 corridor. Stronger wind gusts in the foothills and places right next to the foothills. So Oroville, you're right next to the outlet of Jarbo Gap. So that is something to keep in mind as you're heading out and about this evening. This will hold up our temperatures tonight and into tomorrow morning, limiting frost. We will see those breezes dying down almost completely by tomorrow night. A few breezes up to about five miles per hour, nothing too significant, nothing to be worried about. So enjoy. It will be a very nice afternoon. Lows tonight dipping down to the mid 30s for the most part in the valley, mid 20s in the mountains, 20 degrees in Altura. So it's going to be a chilly night there in the valley. Highs tomorrow a little cooler than what we're seeing today because those breezes do calm down. We lose that warming effect they are creating as they're coming off of the higher terrain, mid 40s in the mountains and higher terrains, depending on your elevation. Now this is what we're watching over the next couple of days. This area of low pressure will dig down off of our coast and it's going to sit there for a couple days. It's not going to throw any moisture into our region like the last one that we saw do something similar, do something like this. So it's just going to sit there far enough where we just see a few high clouds rolling through Thursday and Friday, but it's going to eventually make its way on shore, although the timing for this is still uncertain. So we're going to really hone that in as we get a little closer and exactly what happens after that. We'll have to keep an eye on because another system looks to move down from the Gulf of Alaska, and this could bring a reinforcing chance for rain Sunday night, Monday and Tuesday with some colder temperatures compared to the first system moving through. Temperatures looking pretty good for the next several days, so if you have to do anything outdoors, lower 60s for highs, even mid 60s possible Friday and Saturday. But not looking too bad. Chilly starts to the day. That rain chance though does return coming sat or Saturday or Sunday should say into Monday and eventually Tuesday. Rain totals though still uncertain at this time. All right, thanks.